that's a molecule of chlorophyll, which is the green pigmentation in leaves, plants, algae. Chlorophyll has conjugated bonds, which means that there are single, double, single, double, single, double, etc., etc., carbon to carbon bonds throughout the molecule. And what that means, if a molecule is conjugated, is that it will absorb visible light. So chlorophyll will absorb visible light, and actually it pings out an electron. Six carbon dioxide and six water molecules can be combined to form C6H12O6, which is glucose. And glucose is the building block for cellulose and starch, other main components of plants, and oxygen, the oxygen that we breathe. Now this is an endothermic reaction. And this is a most excellent way for carbon dioxide to be removed from the atmosphere. Now we can uh, do the reverse reaction. You can get sugar or starch or cellulose or essentially plant material, wood, and burn it in oxygen and get back the carbon dioxide and the water. And this is an exothermic reaction because it's essentially the same one going in the other direction. So you have stored sunlight energy in the C6H12O6, in the glucose, and later on you can release it when you burn it. Now, your bodies use glucose as fuel, but there's no flames. It's a slower sort of combustion, if you will, respiration, which is a, a flame-free way to get energy from glucose. The IB also seems to want you to know uh, that other molecules exist with these conjugated bonds, such as beta-carotene, and that gives carrots its orange colour, because every colour, except for orange, is absorbed by this molecule. And there's trinitrotoluene, that's an explosive, that has conjugated double bonds as well. And these actually extend into the NO2 groups, but that's beyond the IB. And that has a colour, it's light yellow. Sugar in your tea, Rich? No thanks, darling. I'm sweet enough already. <laughs> There's no tea.